What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with 911 Season 3, Episode 3. We gotta see what happened. Let's go. The massive tsunami. Big ass tsunami. Christopher! Christopher! You better find him. Christopher! You better Has find him. A, a boy? Is he? He's got brown hair, glasses, yellow t-shirt. Have, have you seen a little, a little boy? No, I'm sorry. Christopher... You'll find him. You'll find him. Oh, no. No. Y'all can't do that. Y'all can't do that. You can't do that. Really? You want to do this here? Might as well end it where it started, right? Seeing the crime. You said yeah. No, I want to see what happened I to Christopher. I don't want to see what happened to them. Adorable or just sad. We've come full circle. The metaphor alone. Max, we're here to sign divorce papers. And we will. No hard feelings. Wow. No drama. Why not remember where it began in the first place, right? And on a high note. Yeah. This is for all the marbles. Watch your step. Y'all got stuck in this thing together. You better stay together after you get rescued, if you do. But you're still amazing. It certainly is. And you're still just as bad at flirting as you were back then. Ooh. Shade. In the air, it's like... Shade. Nothing's changed. Same I call water. Shade. Different people. She looks like, uh, Olivia Pope. Or, uh... It's no, fine. not really. I lied. Ah, I forgot my pen. I've got two. Just like our marriage, this ride is suddenly going nowhere. Oh, so shit. Just to give us a few minutes alone. It's a sweet gesture, but what did you think would happen? I don't know. Some kind of sign, maybe? Signs are a thing. You about to get the back, biggest sign ever. Not in real life. About to get a big ass sign. About to get a 200 foot sign. Not the kind of sign I was hoping for. Oh my god, Max! Why are you looking at it through your phone? Shit! I see boats, Max! Rescue boats! Help's coming. I can't feel your hand. I can't feel much of anything. We'll fix it, Max. Everything can be fixed. Not everything. Multiple calls from the Ferris wheel, Captain. Help here! Help! My husband's hurt, please! Help these guys in front. Look, not trying to be rude, but I need to know what happened to Christopher. They got you here. La bombera. We can use a hand up here. Fire lady. Oh, that's not part of the ride. No, the spokes are coming off the hub. Are you hurt? No, neither is he. I'm not going anywhere. The hunter of the water's gone. It's, sir, if you don't come with us, this whole thing will be gone. I'm gonna put this harness around you, okay? Okay. Bro, what do you mean you're yeah, not going anywhere until the water's gone? Are you on the pit when it hit? Yeah. Where's your crew? Got separated. Call the spin cycle. All right. That's good. Oh, yeah. There right. we go. There okay. we go. We got you. Coming to you, Cat. Don't drive me. Don't drive me. Oh, we got you. You're okay. We got you. Try to relax. <laughs> we got you, sir. We got you. We got you, sir. We got you. Just wave it. How'd you get back in? Slam. That's why I don't wear it. Ride be, I don't be riding these rides. Time on the weekend, soldier. Yeah, nope. I was in the service. Y'all carry yourselves the same way. Nope. All that spit and polish. My captain served. Army. You must be a good man. Coming to you. I'm so curious how Eddie finds out that fucking Christopher here, are involved. My arms went numb. A couple minutes later, my legs gave out. Am I paralyzed? That's too soon to tell. You said you lost sensation in your arms first and then your legs. That might be a sign of swelling, which means you bruised your neck instead of breaking it. Hey, Kat, we can get one down to you. But oh the other one's my god. I'll order one up for you. Coast Guard, Coast Guard. We need a miracle at the pier. We need one quick. Everything's going to be fine. Help's on the way. Y'all trying to give me a damn heart attack watching this show? See, Max? How's that for a sign? There's hope. It's a fight. Max, you moved your fingers. I think I'm getting some feelings back. You're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. But we're still getting divorced? Give me the pen, Stacey. In those papers. We were always a disaster, baby. What a beautiful disaster we were. Aww. Sorry, Max. Keep coming! Debris! I think it's gonna go down! Let's go! 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 Free climb? Well, free fall. Yeah, 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 yeah. These 
these three episodes have been so freaking crazy. Truck on its way, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are they doing this to me? What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Head and chimney are readying some turnout backpacks until we're mobile again. Bosco, the crew from your house are all alive and accounted for except for Captain Cooper. Sorry. Well, it's all the same to you, Captain. I'm going to stick around and look for him. Why are you holding yourself like that? Cruise driven. Let me take a look at that. I said it's not. Are you going to drop this? Bosco, let him have a look. I'm not asking. Ooh. Nash said. Yeah, that's not a bruise. It's broken. I'm like a bitch. Well, breathing isn't super fun. Calling it. You're off the field. <sighs> Sir, I said I'm fine. I want you to stick with her just in case her desire to track down her captain causes her to lose her way. Copy that, Cap. Who are you calling? My son. Don't want him to worry. Hey, Buck, it's me. I just want you to tell Christopher I'll be a little late picking him up. Got our hands full here. It's a good thing you're missing it. Hope you guys are having fun. Oh, shit. Hey, there's a kid under here! Oh. Christopher! I mean, I'm glad that that person is safe, but Give it's not I'm Christopher. Eight year old boy. His name is Christopher. He's always smiling and he's got CP, the cerebral palsy. He's got brown hair, ye ye yellow shirt. He was headed with the group to that cupcakery place. I heard they're handing out water. Cupcakery, what, what is that? He's about six or seven blocks south of here on Strand. Thank you. I hope it's him. I hope it's him. I can't handle it if Christopher. Whoever they get to first. 911, what's your emergency? Calling from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Ma'am, I don't know how you got put through to me, but this is Los Angeles. Joanna was texting me from her place near the beach, but now I can't reach her at all. Can I get your name? Louise Hickey. Louise, do you know if your daughter is on any medications? There are a number of reasons Joanna's phone may have stopped working. Water damage alone. She was texting after the tsunami. She and her neighbors were all safe on the lounge on the 10th floor. Understand that our first responders and emergency crews are already stretched to the brink. She's at the Ocean Plaza apartment, Ocean Avenue. Ocean Plaza. Stay strong, Louise, and let us know if you hear from your daughter. Didn't I hear you taking a call? Something about the Ocean Plaza apartment complex? The caller was having trouble reaching his boyfriend. I checked the Red Cross to see if anyone from Ocean Plaza had marked themselves as safe. Not one mention of it anywhere. See if I understand this correctly. With everything we've got on our plate, you want to send help to the only building that isn't asking for any. Yeah, please don't take offense. But are you okay? Sue, I'm fine. Nothing bad happened at that I'm address, and I didn't... I get it. Our hands are tied, Maddie. We don't have the resources. What the hell could that be about? Marley, what are you doing? Looking for Reggie. Still not safe out there. Oh, sick. Maddie, I got this kid on the line, but I can't tell whether or not I'm being pranked. Who am I speaking with? Why do you need to know that? I just want to know if you guys know about the frog man. He might be dead. Frog man. He's in a tree, but you can't see him from the street. Then how do you spot him? With my drone. I'm looking for my friend. His name's Reggie. So you have a drone? If you want, I can send you a link to a live feed. Please. I'm in. There's movement. Dispatch a ladder crew down to Rosenthal. Thank you. You may have just saved a man's life. How did you? We've got caller ID. A really good one. Charlotte Rain Fingado. That's your name, isn't it? Charlie, you're like Big Brother's big sister. Something like that. <laughs> I think we can help each other out. How far can your drone fly? Keep going, Charlie. We need to find an opening. I don't think these windows open. Maybe there's a vent or there. Can you move in closer or zoom in? Zooming. What are we looking for again? I think we found it. What the hell? Carbon monoxide, maybe? We are the first line of defense against looter. You see anything that looks like more than a misdemeanor, call for backup. Arrest will be made. All right, move out. Be smart. Stay safe. Hey, everything okay, Sus? They're asking for help finding their people. I tried to tell them. We need you to clear the streets. My wife is missing. And you're not going to do anything? Bro. Now, there are people at the shelter who can reconnect you with your wife. Muchas gracias. Dispatch, 727 Please, 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 please. That's not him. Oh, no. Mister, are you okay? You're bleeding. Oh, shit. Can I get you something for that? Oh, my God. Where the uh, fuck? It. Is Christopher? Up, somebody gets nailed by it. Masks go on, they stay on. Schematic, so the fear is over the out. Hell of a lot of it. Two twelve PPMs. Okay, find a source and shut it down. Everybody else on me. Copy that. PPMs at over three hundred. Probably being vented in all. Ah! Of 
Who's the mess about? Try to calm yourself. You're suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning. Need to very much nomenclature. Oh. Did you just say nomenclature? All right, get him outside. Some residents must have taken higher ground as the water road. Oh, should leave the gas in too. Let's hope we're not too late to the party. Okay, let's go, go, go. We gotta get some fresh air in here ASAP. Building backup generator got damaged by the seawater. Start bringing them down. Wow. Captain Nash requesting medical transport for 17 minimum cast. Acute CO poisoning ASAP. All ambulances currently engaged. Stand by. Standing by. I'm fine. I just need. Hold on. I got you. I need to call my mom. I need to call. Did you take my phone? This shit is so me? stressful. Joanna. Joanna, I'm, I'm Hen. Call your mom when she gets settled at the hospital, okay? You should sit down. I want to sit over. Oh, hey. Hey, are you okay? What's hurting? My ankles. I cut it yesterday at the gym. The water's making it sting. Oh. Is that like poop? Poop water? Bobby? We got to find a way to move all these people. It's gonna take some time. We don't have time. That gas truck down the street, it's leaking gasoline into the water. We're standing on top of a bomb. Oh, shit. God, when it's not, when it's one, not one thing, it's the next thing. This freaking show. Copy that. Did you get them all? Yeah. Uh-oh, -uh, y'all are. Store. A couple of silver bowls through the window. Shit is so ghetto. No that shit is such you. Put your crap. Hands in the air. You got people suffering and drowning. You drop and... that box? False. I can't. Oh, I bet you can. I don't want to scare him. Scare who? Oh. You're looting animals? No, hey, we're saving them. Check it out. See? We reunite owners with pets who get separated during natural disasters. Call ourselves the Raiders of the Lost Barks. No, we don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> just you two just... have ID on you. The Raiders of the Lost Barks. That's funny. Can't let you just break into people's houses. We're not really breaking in. Be surprised how many homeowners leave their windows and back doors unlocked. Well, technically, it's still a felony. Oh. Okay, I'll tell you. Well, what. overheard you say you got more than you can fit. I think it's best if you boys just take care of your present cargo. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Oh, Raiders of the Lost Bark. You lost your mind, but I'm gonna walk around with the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Barks. Bark. Barks? Hey, my friend's got at least one broken rib and showing signs. Can I get your names for the list, please? You have a list? First we get you fixed up, then you can spiral out. I'm Eddie Diaz, this is Lena Bosco. Have you seen a Ronnie Cooper on the list? Fire Captain, Station 136. Yeah, I haven't. Head on inside and someone will be with you. <laughs> Don't be scared, baby, I'm fine. I'm gonna need more gauze. Okay, Diaz, you got your wish, I'm here. Don't have to babysit me. My captain was out there, I... Coop's not just my captain. He believed in me, he made me who I am. You remind you of your son? Yes, a little. Oh my Sorry god. Sorry about his mom. That's rough. Kyle, what's, what's wrong? He's drowning. <laughs> what's in his mouth? Oh my god. <gasps> Kyle, baby, I'm here. Short breath, Kyle. Nice and easy. Get him to x-ray. See which pulmonary specialist is available. Thank you. Delayed secondary drowning. I've never seen one of those. Good catch. Hey, paramedic. Oh, but I was just a medic in the service. Oh, we are severely shorthanded. Any chance that you could? Yeah, sure. Sorry. Right. Looks like you're not getting rid of me anytime soon. Hello? Is someone there? Hey. Hello? Hey. Here. Yeah. Hang in there. I'm coming to you. Hold on. I got you. Captain. Aren't you a cyphosaurus? Oh, shit. This, this is never cup around when you need one. You hang on. I'm gonna get you out of here. We're requesting immediate medical assistance. 18th and Wellesley Drive. The MT's approximately 30 to 35 minutes out. Not too long. Do what you can to shave down that estimate, Central. See if I can find a jack to free your arm. My arm's gone. I belted it off hours ago. It's already gone numb. You carrying any kind of knife? Cutting tool? Maybe in your car. Unless you can a nail file. I'm afraid it's not gonna do it. What are we talking about? You have to finish amputating my arm. Shut. Hey, what's our current status? About a third of them are semi or unconscious. There's a lot of complaints about headaches and dizziness. Any word on our ride? It's been 20 minutes since I sent Chimney and John down a bus hunt. Time we start walking some of these people out of this area. About the seven or so that are in ambulatory. I'll stay here with them. That's for me to do. Oh, shit. You found us a bus? Chimney, we need transport right now. Coming in. Neither rain, nor snow, nor heat, nor tsunami. Tell me you didn't steal these mail trucks just so you could say that. You're the only things that weren't swamped. Careful. Everybody in back. LAPD. Anybody home? Hello? Lord forgive me. Oh, she... You weren't specific. It's bad enough I looted somebody's house. I wasn't about to come back here with the wrong thing. 
Use the shears. Bone's already broken, so you're just cutting through soft tissue. This nothing just about cutting off somebody's arm. I'd have thought somebody reached the rank of sergeant would have seen worse than this. Tribute it. That's more my husband's domain. Is he a doctor? For our captain, like yourself. Bobby Nash. Oh. Station 118. I'm kidding. What's your name? Athena. Athena Grant. Ronnie Cooper. Station 136. You may want to get started. Someone's not going to amputate itself. It, that's not funny, Ronnie. Is there somebody you want to call before we do this? Your wife? Ellen already knows I'm missing by now. Something went wrong. Hit me like I died on a twist. <laughs> down on this oh my god can you imagine having to do this we gotta go one minute we don't have a minute okay let's hit it Hey, Cap, you all okay back there? Yeah, we got kissed a bit, but we're fine. It's way too close. Wait, watch out! We're gonna need a bigger mail truck. Oh my god! Looks like you're gonna have to get used to being a southpaw for the time being. That's time to work on your changeup and curveball. So, you a pitcher too? Class A regional all star. Naturally. You all fixed up? Pain killed and we're gonna get back out. You gotta be kidding me. The captain's still somewhere out there. Stubborn. You're trying to stop me. You want to know exactly what two broken ribs feel like. Oh, hey, Athena. It's not my blood. This is who? Ronnie, can you hear me? Mom, you okay? Yeah, the crew is too. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a kid. Um, he's got brown hair. Uh, Chris, Chris. How old? Eight, maybe, maybe nine. Ooh, last name is Diaz. Christopher Diaz. No, not here. You may want to check over there at the black tent. Isn't that the? I'm work. Excuse me. No, 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 he's not over there. No, 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 no. Maddie, that name you had me look into, Reggie? Uh, Reginald Simmons, Charlie, the girl with the drone. She was just hoping we could locate him. His body was identified by a recovery crew. He drowned. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. No, um, it's okay. Thanks. Excuse me. Hello? Hey, it's me. Buck? Where are you? I don't, I don't know this number. I borrowed someone else's phone. Maddie, I need your help. Okay. Uh, tell me what's wrong. Are you hurt? Eddie dropped Christopher off with me. He, he thought doing some activities with him would get me out of my apartment and out of my head. Eddie, I brought him to the pier. Oh, my God. You were there? I had him. Right, Matt? I, I had him. I, I, I kept him safe. We were uh, we were on top of the ladder truck. Water was seated. You're not answering me. Are you injured? It doesn't matter. Don't you hear? Christopher is gone. I checked the emergency refuge camps at the high school. Okay, did you check the VA hospital? Man center, you know, on Sawtell? I'm here now. And... Oh. Oh, God, God, God. What? Eddie's here. Does he know what happened? Evan, you have to tell him. How do you tell your best friend that you lost his son? He's his father. You have to tell him that Christopher's missing. And I need to keep on looking for him. Buck, you are in no condition <sighs> to go looking for Christopher by yourself. I'm coming down there. No, man. Some help here. Buck. Wait. What are you doing here? Are you okay? Wait, hey, where's Christopher? Eddie. No, oh, no. you have his glasses. No, 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 no. He helped me, me and, and Christopher. We were at the beach. And listen to me, okay? I, I swear to you, I, I tried. <laughs> it just, I, I, Eddie, I, I don't know how to say it. Um, uh, he just vanished. And Christopher. Christopher? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. You're back. No, I'm his father, Eddie. He was looking for back. Take a hole! Sean, get her inside. Buck, what happened to you? Hey. Oh, my God. You two okay? Yeah, we're, we're great. No, wait! Oh. Hold up! Come on. Hang in there, hang in there, Buck. Oh, my God. Thank God. Thank God. Wow. There are a lot of ways to be lost at sea. It's not the same as being abandoned, Ooh, song? stranded. Those things happen beyond our control. Sometimes we just take a wrong turn too close to the tide. The waters rise and sweep us away. We fight the currents for a way back to dry land and solid ground. To each other. Man, sweetheart. To normal. Come on, baby. Join us. When we catch our breaths, we search the shore for all that we lost and everything we loved for our families. I do. Oh, wow. <laughs> for our dreams and our futures. Our friends and loved ones. And for those who couldn't swim. 
You know, there could have been a lot more faces on that wall if it weren't for you. Thanks for being here. I'm big sister. But I do. Oh, come here. Sometimes being lost is not knowing how to get oh, from where we are guy. to where we want to be, where we need to be. This poor guy. Uh. Hey, Buck. Good morning, Buck. Hey, 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 buddy. Okay, there's a morning snack, a midday snack, two coloring books, and a bunch of Legos. Between us, he's never built anything that kind of looks like anything. He just likes sticking things together. There's 20 bucks for a pizza. And if I were you, I'd eat a couple extra slices. Look like you're wasting away to nothing. You being laid up is working out for me. No abuela and you're half a Carla, but you're doing a pinch. You want me to watch Christopher? It's easy. It's not very fast. That natural disaster happened, Buck. I lost him. But you saved him. That's how he remembers it. Now it's his turn to do the same for you. I was, I was, I was supposed to look out for him. Oh, you my think you God. Failed? I failed that kid more times than I care to count. And I'm his father. I love him enough to never stop trying. And I know you do, too. Look, there's nobody in this world I trust with my son more. Oh, my God. OK, buddy. Uh, gotta go. Mm -hmm. Love you. Have fun. Maybe try going to the zoo this time, something inland. <laughs> oh, um, thank you for not giving up. A few choice words can sometimes be the life raft Ooh, that gets you home. This is so to bad. To be seen, to be found. Oh Isn't that God. what we're all searching for? Hey, Chris. No. <laughs> oh, my God. That friendship between Buck and Eddie and that love that Buck has for Christopher and Christopher... The love and adoration he has for Buck as well. Like, the, that just, like, oh, it just breaks my heart into a million pieces. It just shatters, shatters my freaking heart, man. This this show is, like, I just was, like, I, if anything were to happen to that kid in, in this, I would be, like, I don't know if I'd be able to keep watching it because that just <laughs> really sent me on, like, a spiral at the end there. My God. Okay, but everybody, for the most part, that we know and love on this show, all of our characters, they're fine. They made it through. For now, they're here to see another day. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.